vintage pottery, ceramics, vases, lots of vases, more vases, more vases. Look, we have more over here. And also over here. I even have a bag of stuff in the hallway. That can only mean one thing. No, I didn't turn into a hoarder. Although, I do have slight tendencies sometimes. Nope. I'm gonna start an Etsy shop. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Manya and if you're new to this channel, I am a lover of 70s vases. So much in fact that I buy a lot, which has been evidenced by all my thrift with me's in the past. So if you've been following my videos, you know this. And because of that love, my space at home is um, kind of running out. I have been thinking about opening a shop for a very long time, like years. I'm not even kidding you, yes, I'm that kind of person that agonizes about doing something for years. Obviously, you're not obligated to buy anything, and I think that if you're watching this, you're probably just as much of a vintage home decor lover as me, and you're always probably excited about seeing what other people get. So I hope that this won't disappoint because I think that I found some really, really good stuff. I recently discovered that Germany has a state sale which just blew my mind. I really didn't know. I really thought we didn't have that, but I found that out, I think on Instagram when somebody went to one and I was like, wait, what? I've been missing out on this for this whole past year where I've been living here. I'm gonna show you things that I found at two estate sales and it's a lot because they had really good stuff there. And you know what? I'm just gonna show you what I found and I hope you're gonna like things as much as I do. To no one's surprise, this sale is going to include a lot of vases. The first one is probably one of the favorite things I have found in all the thrift, or sorry, estate sales, and it is a vase by Jasper, made in West Germany. This is not Fet Lava, but it's this typical 70s vase, and honestly, I've really been thinking about keeping this, which I know is not a good start, because I'm showing you things I'm gonna have in my shop and already the first one, I'm like, I kinda wanna keep this, but I just love the color. It fits perfectly in my home. I'm still debating whether I'm gonna keep it or I'm gonna sell it, but it is Jasper and it is the model number 150128 and it has those really cool circles on it and this really, really nice texture. And I love the kind of trumpet shape that it has. Secondly, I found this vase by Scheurich I really like this pattern. It kind of reminds me of um, when you're at the hospital and you're attached to like the thing that measures your heart. I don't know if that's like a good thing, but that kind of what it, rem what's it, what it reminds me of. And it's a Scheurich a model. It's the model 231-15. Um, Obviously made in West Germany in the 70s and I have never seen a pattern like this before. I've looked up this model, but I haven't seen like on Etsy any other pattern like this. They had different vases in that style, but not like this. So I thought that this was really cool and unique. Love the color combo, yellow, green, and then this pop of red is really nice. Then I found this really nice kind of amber colored <laughs> vase. And this one is actually made in Taiwan and this was probably made in the mid to late 70s because Taiwan started mass producing vases and things like that in the 1970s and it has this really cool texture of little bubbles on there which is absolutely beautiful and yeah I can imagine this in lots of different types of houses even in modern homes it would look really nice. Then I have this vase which kind of looks just plain brown but it's actually not it has this kind of speckled, not structure, but the speckled color scheme to it. I don't know how else to explain it. So it's kind of different colors. It kind of looks like somebody took a sponge and dabbed it on there. And it doesn't have a brand on it, but it does still have its original sticker, which is really rare to find, which is also always really good. And it just says in German, Westdeutsche Qualitätskeramik, made in West Germany, which means West German quality ceramics. I also found this vase at the sale and the first estate sale I went to. And I usually wouldn't pick up this kind of vase, but for some reason I really liked it. I know, I guess because it's the color, it's this brown and it has those kind of tan colored stripes here and the gold rim here on top. It is stamped, but for the life of me, I cannot read it. So I'll see if I can somehow find out what company made this vase. This is pretty much everything I found at the first estate sale, but I went to the second one and I got a ton of stuff there. Some of the things I already showed you in my other videos because those were things that I kept for myself, like a brass really nice nutcracker in the form of a walnut and some glass 
wall hangings that I showed in my thrifted favorites videos, but I also found some things for the shop as well. I finally, finally found a Fed Lava vase. I've been looking for one for such a long time and this one is actually, I think it was also by Scheurig when I looked it up. Uh, I didn't write it down so I don't remember the top of my head because I have so much stuff. And this is the number 242-22 and also says West Germany on the bottom. And this part here in the middle actually really has kind of a, I don't know, it really kind of looks like fire or actual lava, because a lot of times it's just kind of a burnt part, which kind of looks like you really set it on fire, but this part, it's really so cool. A while ago, I made a new friend on Instagram. Actually, her handle is Miss Featherwings, and she lives in North Germany. I mean, I live in North Germany, but she even lives more north. And I sent her a vase that she asked me to get for her and that was a Murano vase and before that I just knew the type of Murano that my parents had at home which kind of looks like this and I didn't know all the other types and since seeing that vase I kind of fell in love with that style and I'm still looking for a vase that really matches my color scheme perfectly but in the meantime I found some other ones that I'm going to put on my Etsy that I absolutely love. So first off I have this really nice one. It kind of looks like it has this, I don't know, almost smoky, smoky pattern to it and it's um, swirly in a lot of different colors. It's kind of orange and yellow and blue, kind of a little bit of brown as well. And yeah, it was mouth blown and it also has this really kind of, I don't know, it probably has a specific name, but this kind of floral wavy almost scalloped top here and the actual color of the vase is this really nude color. Next up is this green Murano vase that has some brown texture to it and it has this kind of swirl up here and you can hold it. It kind of almost looks like a pitcher but obviously it's you don't wouldn't use that for lemonade <laughs> but yeah it's also really mouth blown and I'm actually calling all those vases Murano vases but I should be saying Murano style because they don't have the original Murano sticker on them so I don't know if they're actually handmade in Murano Italy but there are a lot of German companies that kind of copied the style and they also made the mouth blown so they're also very high quality but they're not necessarily from Murano Italy themselves. Then I also have this green vase and this is so special. I'd never seen a vase like this before. I know that a lot of the Murano styles also incorporated um, gold leaf and uh, copper and uh, silver. And this is a vase that is just green and has this, I would probably say this actually looks more like bro almost a brass, well probably brass goldish color incorporated in there. It's so beautiful. If you have pops of green in your house, that would look absolutely stunning with the gold sparkle. It's so nice. It's a little bit too bright for my home. If this had been a darker green, I totally would have kept it. Next up, I found this little guy. It's really cool. I like the pattern a lot. It's this navy blue and dark grayish, almost black color with white. And it's really nice. I had never seen a pattern like this before on a Murano vase, so I think that is cool. Also, what I like about it is that the pattern starts really small on top, and it kind of gets bigger as it goes down. So that is really neat as well. And yeah, I also like this a lot, but as I said, I don't really have navy in my house. If I did, I also would keep this. See, that's why I have to start a shop. I just want to keep everything. It's really bad. Really, really not good. <laughs> I have one more um, Rano style vase and I actually found the same style on Etsy. The sticker, it has, still has it on there and this one was actually made in Italy. I'm going to pop it up here on the screen. But this is an actual Murano swirlish pattern, swirl pattern. So you can see the swirls in here. That is a type of Murano style that they made obviously in Italy but then also they um, remade those ones in Germany. And this is this amazing 70s bright orange color and this is i wouldn't say this is black this almost looks more like a chocolate brown in my opinion yeah i think it is because the actual sticker is black and you can definitely see a difference here oh uh, it's so good and it's in perfect condition the shape is really unique with the square part here and then it kind of curves up here and then you have the round opening on top. Then I also found this matching set of mugs. What I liked about them is if you watch my channel you might know the answer is that they have a botanical print. 
I like botanical print. You also have a little bee on here and a dragonfly and the other one actually has a different kind of floral pattern. They uh, actually come with inserted tea sieve a filter for tea leaves and then also a lid which is really nice sometimes if you're outside and you just don't want insects to come into your drink which is always really annoying. I don't think necessarily that these are made in the 70s. I'm not 100% sure, but I'd assume that maybe there could also be from the 80s. You guys, I found the mother of all fat lava vases. And I'm not joking. I found this huge floor vase by Scholdich. It's dark brown with this red lava part in the middle. It is beautiful and I've been wanting to find one for my home, but then the red doesn't really match my home, unfortunately. I still want to find one that is more neutrally colored or mustard. That would be amazing. This one actually has a number 51745, so 517-45, obviously made in West Germany. And it is just so stunning and I was so happy that they sold this to me because I've been looking for one for so long. These are not that easy to find. Then I also found this set of three soup bowls and they are a mustard color, but I can't really keep them because we have four people in the house. I'd like to have four or at least more, I mean, at least four to six. And also I want to have a matching soup bowl with it to go with it. They have this flower here on both sides actually. And then they also have this handle, which I mean, if you like pour in soup and then it doesn't get and you can just hold it like this so cool this is a vase by by or bay if you would pronounce English it's so hard to see the number on the bottom I think it's number it says four five, no five four nine dash one eight I think um, I have to look it up if it's not true I'm gonna put it up here on the screen this is uh, almost matte here the finish which is really interesting the red is shiny and the rest is matte and the inside is actually a teal color, which is also really cool because I don't know, I just love how they played with color. You have the red, the green, the yellow, and the teal. If you like this video, make sure to check out these ones here on the side because I post videos about thrifting and secondhand finds every single week. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you do to not miss another video. The next video is actually going to be a thrift with me, which I'm very excited about. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.